The last pattern in the Simplifying Conditional Expression series is called Introduce Assertion. The motivation here is that the code is making an implicit assumption about the state of the program or the state of an object, and that assumption should be made more explicit. So if we look at this code, for example, we have this employee object where we're trying to get the expense limit for that employee. And in this conditional, there is an assumption that either there is an explicit expense limit or there is a project which has an expense limit on it. Now, what if, what if this assumption isn't true? What if an employee does not have an explicit expense limit but also currently doesn't have a project? This could result in an error. And so what we're going to do is make this assumption a bit more explicit so that the error is a little more controlled. Now in Java, in the book, there was the use of the assert statement. And we could use similar things here, maybe even some metaprogramming constructs like code contracts. But for the simplicity of this example here, I'm just going to check for that, ex that assumption and throw an exception if it's not true. So in this case, it is if expense limit equals the null expense and primary project equals null, and we'll throw an exception. And a custom exception would be better, but we'll just use the default one here. And there might be more information we could pass along here, such as the employee ID or anything like that, any useful information. But the idea is to fail early in the method. Now this is, uh, th this is a construct of defensive programming. There are a lot of opinions about defensive programming. Uh, one very valid opinion is that in a properly configured system, one that's been tested and has all of its, all of its ducks in a row, we are running this check over and over again where we wouldn't otherwise need to. So that's also where some metaprogramming techniques might come in. Maybe a debug flag or a test flag where we could turn off that sort of thing. There are a lot of approaches to it. But essentially the idea is that we're making this assertion explicit in the code. Now this could also be refactored into another method which checks for lots of assumptions or checks for assumptions conditionally based on state. We could throw this into a, a more explicit guard clause instead of a conditional, but ultimately we're still doing the same thing. We're just making that assumption explicit on a line of code so that we know explicitly what it is we're looking for here. That's pretty much it for the introduce assertion pattern. Thanks for watching.